If you lower the cognitive load, you can broaden your potential audience that will understand what you're doing, what you're offering, and um, will feel understood and then properly will buy from you. Now come to the last of our optimization principles, and that's the memory load. That pertains to the amount of work users have to perform when recollecting something in order to use your site. In other words, how much strain on the user's memory does it to take to use your site? Give you a simple example here. So if you, for instance, have a product detail page and the shipping information or the return information is somewhere else, and you put a link in there to your shipping policy page, or your returns policy page. And people have to click that, go over, load this page, go over the page, read your shipping terms, and then they have to go back to the product detail page. Um, or even worse, they have to find the product detail page. So basically they got lost in your website because they have to do something to get information they were looking for at one point in your store, in your website, and now need to find the point where they left off. Now, this is difficult. People have to really mem memorize or remember where they have been and how they go got there in the first place. And this increases the memory load. And also there, you want to keep this as low as possible. So people should not really have to memorize anything when they have to go through step by step through your website and getting the right information. Now, key there is to provide them with the right information in the right moment and with my example from before, put the shipping information and the return information in short words. You can still have a link to a longer page there, but in short words, directly on your product detail page, on every product detail page, so that people do not have to leave the product detail page and still have the information they need. Don't overload the page. Really think about is like, what is my user, my visitor, my potential customer thinking about in that moment and what kind of information, what kind of questions will they have and then try to answer them directly on the product detail page. 